Now let's come back and do the next reason equations in ammonia and I'm going to slowly gradually relate into phosphine. So in your inorganic chemistry 99.99% of reason equations nothing would be direct please. That's the reason I'm trying to uh, cover all the reason equations which are there in P block. Now let's see. They're given as the N H N H that means here in this nitrogen is a central atom it's going to form a bond with two hydrogens and a lone pair and bond angle is higher than uh, H P H okay that is for phosphorus P H uh, for arsenic for uh, uh, antimony and bismuth done so here uh, when I have to speak what did, what should I say they, they, they told me ammonia has a uh, bigger like uh, higher bond angle compared to the left remaining just see here ammonia has 107 then bismuth hydride uh, phosphine has 94 uh, antimony has 91 bismuth has 90 as we go down the group what is happening to the bond angle bond angle is decreasing done <clears throat> now and next when i have to compare the electronegativity nitrogen electronegativity is 3.04 and hydrogen 2.2 so there is certain amount of electronegativity that means that there is a polarity created in the molecule done now phosphine a little bit different less less difference is very less now antimony difference is again less bismuth there is no difference in it 2.19 and 2.0 almost closer uh, electronegativity values you have now they asked me why is it higher in the in ammonia the first one why is it higher they said first important thing let me write in this way this is for ammonia and this is for others other elements now ammonia what is the most important criteria first it, the atomic radii atomic radii is smaller is less now others what will happen as we go down the group down the group what will uh, increase atomic radii increases that when the atomic radii is less what is how is electronegativity difference electronegativity difference is high in ammonia here when you are finding the electronegativity difference is less now when the electronegativity difference is very high what will happen there is amount of repulsion created isn't it that electron which is above nitrogen the lone pair and the electron which is there in hydrogen both will start rippling the, means there are repulsions in adjacent atom there is nitrogen and hydrogen so what will happen electron repulsions increase here what will happen the size is bigger isn't it so between this phosphorus and this hydrogen when the size is bigger the electron the possibility of electron repulsions is very less because phosphorus is here hydrogen is here so electron repulsions decreases obviously when the electron repulsions are more what will happen to the bond angle yes I am writing it here bond angle hence bond angle increases that is why it is 107 degrees here when the electron repulsions are lower or obviously bond angle reduces it is not repelling isn't it it's normal like that so it is decreasing that is the reason so these are the keywords one two three are the keywords you have to mention those in your paper hmm. let's come back and see now here they've given us why does r3po okay and there's an alkyl group with phosphorus and double bond o it's going to form uh, a bond like this for one two three r r r and p they said this particular compound exists but n with r r r it does not exist why they are asking only a difference in phosphorus atomic number is 15 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 6 3 is 2 3 p 5 apart from that it also has d orbital but when i come to nitrogen atomic number 7 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p uh, 2 p 4 4 okay 7 right 2 p 3 i'm sorry 2 p 3 this doesn't have any d orbitals no d orbitals here here you have presence of d orbitals now observe carefully so what will happen when phosphorus is trying to form a bond with this what what are involved this is going to involve both the p as well as d orbitals so what type of bonding it's going to show d okay p pi d pi 
bonding both p pi and d pi bonding are observed in phosphorus so because of this it's extending its orbital that's why it's going to form this type of compound but here does it form d orbital no isn't it here only p pi and other nitrogen p pi p pi bonding so when there is no d orbital it doesn't form this type of compound only you will write only p pi p pi overlapping hence does not form this compound r3 n double bond it doesn't extend it can't extend it is it only three are there it can't extend its valency beyond that so it will not form r3 n compound but phosphorus because of this d orbital it can extend and form such compound